story is Bird Talk, What Birds Are Saying and Why, by Lita Judge. Chirp, chirp, bubble, quack, coo, rattle, screech. In the backyard, meadows, forests, and the air are filled with bird talk. But what are they saying? Pick me, pick me! Male songbirds go out to get noticed in the spring. When they make noise, they want you to look and say, oh, there you are. A blue bird of paradise sings to attract a mate and defend his territory. To make sure that the female notices, he flips upside down and swings frantically to and fro. And the melodious, the melodious sing, song, and bright colored feathers of an American goldfinch say, Choose me! I'm the healthiest! Like most songbirds, the female is quieter and drabber, the better to sit unnoticed on her nest. Now, an American robin sings hundreds of different songs. The more complicated a song, the more he says, I have the most experience. I will be make the best mate. A lot of times they're saying, pick me, I'm the best. I'm the strongest. Now, not all birds sing to attract a mate. Some birds use it to claim their territory. The males strut around and bat, go bang, bang, boom, trying to show off that this is their territory. To catch the eye of a female, male sage grouse puff up their feathers and strut like a runway model. Then they make the loud popping sounds by blowing up air sacs and rubbing their wings across the chest. Boop, 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 boop. Other birds, like the wild turkeys, go gobble, 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 and strut as well. But their naked heads are covered with waddlers that turn scarlet red. The bird with the biggest, brightest waddler usually wins. Now the palm cockatoo is a regular one-man hard rock band. He whistles, he bobs his head, then he breaks off a stick to drum against the tree. The message is clear to the other males. Stay away. This is my tree. Let's do the blue-footed booby dance. Many birds dance to communicate with their future mates. So it's not always singing, sometimes it's dancing to show yourself off. The blue-footed boobies don't want to be confused with the red-footed boobies, so the male lifts his feet, proudly showing off their bright blue color. The female likes what she sees. She joins the dance, announcing, We belong together. Now, the Western Jervis dance is the perfect unison by running across the water like a pair of water skiers. After their fancy footwork, the partners present weeds to each other as if to say, And this is how we will build our nest together. Now, the Indian Sarkras cranes bow and leap, perform an elegant ballet. They trumpet loudly and throw sticks into the air, proclaiming, we are paired. We will build a nest together. Their bond is so strong that they often stay together for their whole life. Greetings. Birds who share nesting duties have a lot to say to each other. A pair of European white storks greet one another each time a parent returns from the nest. They throw their heads forward and backwards and they clatter with their bills. Now the male rhinoceros hornbill says, I will provide, as he brings food to his mate. The female has sealed herself inside a tree nest for three months, incubating the eggs and caring for her young ones. The northern gannet returns from fishing and she and her mate stand on tiptoes over the nest. The one to leave its bill pointing skyward the longest says, my turn to take off, and the other one stays behind to keep the nest warm. Over here, over here. Some parents and chicks learn the sound of each other's voice. So when they're in a crowd, they can find each other. The emperor penguins must find 
their chicks among thousands after they return from fishing in the sea. The chicks call eagerly in the deafening noise, and the parents trumpet back until they are united. If danger is near, the mother common merganser calls to her chicks and says, Stay close! The family swims to safety, making sure that everyone is safe. The flamingo chick beeps softly before she is even hatched, and the parent cheeps back, offering encouragement to help the baby break free from the egg. Kind of saying, you can do it. I'm not here. Some birds use trickery to protect themselves and their nests. And they'll make noise to trick people or trick other animals. The American bittern has a loud booming call. But when danger draws near, she sits still as a stone. Her lie, I'm not here, is convincing, even to the keenest eye. The sun bittern blends her surroundings by sh with striped brown and gray feathers. But if a hawk comes close, she fans her tail, flashes red patches on the golden wings, and says, Stay back. I'm a devil-eyed monster. Ooh, scary. Now, when a fox stalks the nest of a northern American killdeer, the mama screams and flaps a wing awkwardly. Her broken wing trick says, Follow me. I'm injured. I'm the better meal. And she stays just out of reach, luring the fox away from her eggs, keeping them safe. Look out! Look out! We're under attack! Within a flock of birds, communication is important, and they use it to protect themselves. Caw! Caw! An American crow shrieks alarm when the great horned owl comes near. Instead of flying to safety, the flock joins her. They scold and mob the predator, chasing it away. But when the crow prowls for eggs, the Scandinavian field fairs declare war. Ch -ch -ch -ch, they warn. As the intruder doesn't flee, they dive on the crow dumpling, dubbing missiles of poop to scare it away. Sometimes it is safer to sound the alarm quietly, like the purple finch when it spots a hawk overhead. It makes a short zit, zit, call and says, keep quiet, danger is near. And quietly and quickly, the flock takes cover. Come on, fly! A mother's call encourages her youth, saying, you can do this. I believe in you. A young peregrine falcon, nervous to take his first flight from the high cliff nest, the mother sits in a tree nearby, calling sharply with food. Eventually, he flaps towards her, and she continues the training until he can grab prey on his own. The blue jay listens to the call of his hungry youngster. The fledgling has left the nest, but is not ready to fly. Her parent answers with tender feelings and calls when she needs her next meal. Hoop, 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 hoop. The mother wood duck summons her chicks just after they've hatched. They can't fly, but they can swim, and they can find food once they've left the tree nest. Jumping down into the water. Listen and learn from each other. Some birds don't just sing from instinct alone. They learn to mimic or imitate the calls of songbirds around them. Just like we learn, they learn. Baby scarlet macaws learn to mimic sounds the way human babies learn to talk by listening to their parents. Northern mockingbirds even mimic other bird songs. What better way to say to a mate, choose me, I'm the smartest. They can be noisy neighbors, even intimidating man-made sounds like car alarms, ambulances, sirens, even cell phone rings. The African gray parrots are excellent mimics. They learn to repeat people's voices but one named Alex learned to use words with human meaning. In his vocabulary of about 150 words, he could name objects, count to six, ask and answer questions, and even request rewards. Want a nut? Whether they sounded like people or sing a song, birds are talking just like you and me. The end.